first alert weather with Cassie Campbell is sponsored by St. Francis Healthcare System. Well, it's been a quiet start to the day, but we have a lot to unpack as we head through the next couple of hours. It's a windy and warm start. It's currently pretty clear, but can see this low pressure just to the north west of us. This is slowly going to push east, bringing in this cold front and along along the front of this is going to be the chance for some strong to severe storms late overnight tonight into tomorrow. Main concern at the moment is going to be our wind impacts. We are tracking very gusty winds. There is a wind advisory for all of the heartland throughout the afternoon and into tomorrow. Wind gusts up to about 45 miles per hour. It is dry air out there. It's windy and it's pretty warm so that is increasing our chance for some fire hazards so not a great day to plan to build some fires outside across the heartland right now the clouds are slowly starting to filter and can see a little bit of break a little bit of some sunshine out there those winds are going to continue to race out of the south throughout our afternoon we're going to stay mostly dry for our daylight hours as that sun starts to go down we are going to see that chance for some showers and possible storms pop up. So we're tracking timing around 8 o'clock tonight. Going to go ahead and want to be aware there is a chance for a few cells to start popping up. As we progress into the later evening, by midnight, can see most of these cells are really starting to develop just ahead of that front. You can see the south winds right here, the north winds coming out. So right ahead of where that front is pushing through is where these storms and showers are starting to develop. This will continue to merge and become a pretty decent line of showers and thunderstorms, possibly some strong storms, severe storms overnight into tomorrow. Main threat, the damaging wind gusts, some large hail, but also can't rule out the fact there could be a possible isolated tornado here or there overnight into tomorrow morning. Good news, all this seems to work out by 7, 7 a.m. when you head out the doors to school or work tomorrow. It's going to be a very cold start. Very dramatic change in those temperatures. 80s today. We're talking wind chills in the teens by the time you head out the door tomorrow morning. It'll be a cloudy afternoon. The winds will continue to race out of the north northwest. The clouds will slowly filter out by Wednesday late afternoon. For today, the SBC has upgraded our severe threat level. The counties that you see in orange, that's a level three, a level three out of five for the chance for some strong to severe storms again tonight overnight into early Wednesday morning. Most of the heartland is under that level two slight risk for some strong to severe storms. Make sure you have ways to get warnings. These are expected again. Once that sun goes down is going to become quite active across the heartland late tonight overnight to tomorrow morning. Lows tomorrow morning in the 30s, 30 in Mount Vernon, 36 in Marion, 37 in Cape, 38 in Poplar Bluff. Wind chills, windy, cloudy. It is going to feel quite cold out there and we're not going to see those temperatures increase a whole lot. Mid 40s for the afternoon. Again, that sunshine will come out by the time we get into about lunchtime later in the afternoon, early evening. Sunshine on Thursday. Good news, the cold temperatures won't stick around for long. We'll be back in the 50s by Thursday, 52 on Friday. There is a chance for a little bit of some rain to work in overnight Thursday into Friday. And then we're going to see those nice temperatures return by the weekend. 66 on Saturday, 70s back in store. A roller coaster of temperatures as we head through the next several days. 70 by Sunday, Monday. We are checking the chance for another round of scattered showers and thunderstorms as we head into next week.